Hey guys, Chef Chuck here. Today we're going to make sushi rice. Sushi itself is not really that difficult to make, but the rice is a little tricky sometimes. I'm going to show you a foolproof way to make some really good rice that you can make a lot of sushi rolls with. Okay, we're going to want to rinse the rice really well. This is the first rinse. And once you get some water in there, you're going to move it around with your hand and then strain it. If you can see, the water's really cloudy. That's excess starch that you don't want to have in your rice. Okay, so you want to do this five times until the water runs completely clear. Okay, we've rinsed the rice around five or six times. As you can see, the water's nice and clear, which means that excess starch has been washed off. So we're gonna take the rice, we're gonna strain it, and we're gonna let it sit in the strainer for around 10 minutes. At this point, we're gonna take the strained rice, we're gonna put it in the pot, that's two cups of rice, and we're going to take the two cups of water and place it in next. And we're just going to swirl it around a little bit. We're now going to put the rice on the stove over medium heat. We're going to cover it and let it cook for 10 minutes. been 10 minutes so let's take a look. Okay, looks pretty good to me. So what we're going to do turn off the heat there and we're going to cover it again and let it sit for an additional 10 minutes. Now we're going to take our sushi rice that's cooked. We're going to place it in a bowl. Then we're going to place in our half cup of rice wine vinegar. And now we're just going to mix it around and we're just cooling it off right now. Okay. The rice here has been mixed around for around five minutes, so the sushi rice vinegar has been absorbed. The rice has cooled, and now you're ready to make sushi. At this point, what you want to do, you want to get a damp cloth or a towel and place it over the rice so it doesn't become dry. Thanks for watching my sushi rice demonstration. Don't forget, if there's anything that you'd like to see me do, any food or cooking demonstrations at all, let me know. And don't forget to email me at chazcooks at verizon.net. I'll see you later.